Welcome to a journey through the fascinating and often controversial history of experiments carried out by the CIA. From bold attempts at mind control to drug experiments that seem straight out of a science fiction novel, these secret projects have generated both fascination and concern among the public and experts alike. Join us as we unravel the mysteries and truths behind the most enigmatic operations of the world's most famous intelligence agency. And remember, if you want to keep exploring the best kept secrets of history and science, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Get ready, because what you're about to discover could change your perception of reality. Rank number 5. Operation MK Ultra. At number 5 on our list of CIA experiments, we delve into the shadows of one of the most controversial and chilling programs in the history of American intelligence. Operation MK Ultra. Initiated in the 1950s, this secret operation aimed primarily to explore the limits of the human mind, seeking methods for mind control that could be used in the Cold War against adversaries of the United States. The CIA, in its quest to master the art of mind control, turned to the use of psychedelic drugs, with LSD being one of the most emblematic substances used in these experiments. However, the scope of MKUltra went much further, including a variety of extreme methods such as sensory deprivation, hypnosis, isolation, psychological manipulation, and a series of techniques that today would be considered tortury. The subjects of these experiments were often unsuspecting individuals, including ordinary American citizens, prisoners, mental patients, and even members of the CIA's own staff, many of whom were subjected to these tests without their consent or knowledge, blatantly violating their human rights. The existence of Operation MK Ultra was officially exposed in the 1970s, following a series of governmental investigations that brought to light the depth and extent of the experiments. The revelation of these practices not only sparked a storm of controversy and public condemnation, but also left a lasting legacy of distrust towards government agencies and their covert operations. Although Operation MK Ultra was officially dismantled, questions about how far these experiments went and whether their objectives were achieved remain a topic of debate and speculation. What is clear is that this dark chapter in the history of American intelligence serves as a grim reminder of how far one can go in the name of national security. Rank number 4. Project Stargate. At number 4, on our list of CIA experiments, we delve into the mysterious world of Project Stargate. This initiative, launched in the 1970s, represents one of the most fascinating and controversial chapters in the history of American intelligence. Project Stargate was an ambitious program that sought to explore and develop remote viewing techniques, a supposed psychic ability that would allow individuals to see events, sites, or information from great distances. The CIA, along with other defense and intelligence agencies, invested millions of dollars in Project Stargate. The goal was clear to use psychic abilities to spy on enemies during the Cold War, locate hostages and missiles, and even assist in search and rescue missions. Remote viewing, if proven effective, would offer the United States an unprecedented advantage in the realm of intelligence. The program brought together a diverse group of people, including military personnel, scientists and civilians, who claimed to possess extraordinary abilities. These individuals were subjected to a series of tests and experiments designed to validate their psychic capabilities and determine their applicability in intelligence and military operations. Throughout its more than two decades of existence, Project Stargate attracted both skeptics and believers. The results of the experiments were mixed, with some reports suggesting notable successes, while independent analyses questioned the reliability and validity of the tests conducted. Finally, in 1995, Project Stargate was declassified, and its operation ceased. An evaluation report commissioned by the CIA concluded that remote viewing was unpredictable and had not proven useful for intelligence operations. Despite this, Project Stargate remains a topic of fascination and debate. For some, it is a testament to the willingness to explore all possible paths to intelligence superiority. For others, an example of how hope and imagination can be misguided in the pursuit of national security. This concludes our look at Project Stargate, the fourth most intriguing CIA experiment on our list. A reminder that, in the world of espionage and intelligence, the line between science and fiction can sometimes be surprisingly thin. 
Rank number 3. Operation Midnight Climax. At number 3, on our list of CIA experiments, we delve into the shadows of Operation Midnight Climax, a dark and controversial chapter in the agency's history. This operation was a facet of MK Ultra, the CIA's clandestine program aimed at researching mind control techniques and human behavior modification. During the 1950s and early 60s, in the midst of the Cold War, the CIA embarked on a series of experiments that seemed lifted from a spy novel, but were incredibly very real. Operation Midnight Climax stood out for its audacity and the total lack of ethics with which it was conducted. Under the guise of this operation, the CIA established several secret brothels in San Francisco, New York, and possibly other cities. These places, disguised as national security operations, became human laboratories where agency workers, hidden behind two-way mirrors, observed the interactions between prostitutes and their clients. The goal was simple yet disturbing, to administer LSD and other psychoactive substances to the clients without their consent, to study the drug's effects and assess its potential as a mind control tool. The subjects of these experiments, unaware of what was really happening, were exposed to varying doses of LSD, while CIA agents meticulously documented their reactions and behaviors. The lack of consent and the total disregard for the dignity and freedom of the individuals involved mark Operation Midnight Climax as one of the most infamous episodes in the history of psychological research and espionage. Years later, when the details of MK Ultra and Operation Midnight Climax came to light, the public was horrified at the magnitude and nature of the experiments. The revelations sparked a national scandal, leading to congressional investigations and a profound rethinking of intelligence practices and governmental ethics. Operation Midnight Climax is a grim reminder of how far intelligence agencies can go in the name of national security and of the importance of oversight and transparency to prevent abuses of power. This chapter in the history of the CIA teaches us that the end does not justify the means, especially when it comes to human dignity and rights. Rank number two, Project Bluebird. At number two on our list of CIA experiments, we delve into the shadows of Project Bluebird, the dark predecessor of the infamous MK Ultra. Initiated in 1951, this project marked the beginning of an era of experimentation in interrogation techniques and mind control that would challenge the boundaries of ethics and morality. Project Bluebird was designed with one goal in mind, to discover methods for extracting information from individuals against their will, without leaving any trace of the intervention. To achieve this, the CIA explored a variety of techniques, including the use of psychoactive drugs, hypnosis and methods of psychological and physical torture. The premise was clear, to control the human mind for intelligence purposes. One of the most controversial practices of Project Bluebird was the use of substances such as LSD and mescaline. These drugs were administered to subjects, often without their consent, in an attempt to alter their psychic state and force the revelation of secrets. Hypnosis also played a crucial role, used as a tool to implant suggestions or extract information locked in the subject's minds. But Project Bluebird did not stop at drug experimentation and hypnosis. Torture, both physical and psychological, became a regular tool in its arsenal. Techniques of sensory deprivation, extreme isolation, and the application of physical pain were used to break the will of individuals, leaving permanent scars on many of them. Despite its controversial nature, Project Bluebird laid the groundwork for future research in the field of mind control. Its legacy, though dark, is a reminder of how far governments can go in their quest to dominate the last bastion of human freedom, the mind the mind. With Project Bluebird, we face a grim chapter in the history of American intelligence, one that forces us to reflect on the price of security and how far we are willing to go in its name. This project not only reveals the ethical boundaries that were crossed in the past, but also raises profound questions about control, freedom, and human dignity in the complex world of international espionage. Rank number one. Project NK Search. At the top of our list of CIA experiments, we delve into the shadows of Project MK Search, an initiative that took the concept of mind control to unimaginable levels. This project, which emerged as a continuation of the infamous MK Ultra, sought to perfect techniques of mental and psychological manipulation for use in interrogations and intelligence operations. Project MK Search 
active during the 60s and early 70s, delved into the study of chemical, biological, and radiological substances, with the goal of finding effective methods to influence and control the human mind. Among its experiments were extreme doses of LSD and other psychoactive drugs, hypnosis, and a variety of psychological torture methods. What sets NCAR search apart from its predecessors is its focus on the practical application of these techniques. The CIA was determined to develop tools that could be used in the field to extract information, manipulate individuals of interest, and carry out intelligence operations with unprecedented efficiency. Despite the efforts and resources invested, Project MCA Search faced numerous ethical and legal challenges. Criticism quickly emerged when details about the experiments, many of which were conducted without the informed consent of the subjects, were revealed, leading to public scrutiny and eventually the termination of the project. Today, Project NCAR Search remains as a dark reminder of how far the quest for mind control can go in the hands of intelligence agencies. Its legacy raises profound questions about ethics and human experimentation and the limits of national security. With this, we conclude our journey through the CIA's most controversial experiments. Project NCAR Search not only tops our list for its audacity and scope, but also for the important lessons it leaves us about the importance of transparency and accountability in research and intelligence. Throughout this journey into the darkest corners of CIA history, we have uncovered experiments that challenge our understanding of ethics and human rights. From attempts at mind control to drug experimentation on unaware subjects, these projects force us to reflect on the profound impact they have on the lives affected and on society as a whole. Although many of these programs have been discontinued, questions about morality, ethics, and proper oversight of such experiments remain extremely relevant today. They remind us of the importance of transparency and accountability in all government actions, especially those that have the potential to cross the boundaries of what is ethically acceptable. Before we say goodbye, we invite you to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future content that enlightens, educates and provokes thought. Your support motivates us to continue exploring stories that deserve to be told. Thank you for joining us.